Welcome to Reverse Engineering News. I'm your host, Hash, and a gentle toss for the patrons. Thank you for being a part of Richesum and Reverse Engineering News. This week, we've got Doom on a toothbrush. I'm not kidding. You can buy a toothbrush made by a company called Evo Wira. It's the Plank Mini. It has an ESP32, a screen, and a battery for about 20 bucks, and Aaron Christoffel figured out how to get Doom running on it. Now you might remember Aaron from before a prior episode of Reverse Engineering News where he reverse engineered a Disney band. Now after watching his video, the thing I thought was funny is that this toothbrush has an ESP32, has all these electronics, it doesn't actually vibrate. It's a regular toothbrush with a screen and a ton of electronics in it to gamify oral hygiene. Now I think it has a pressure sensor on the brush from what he said, so you know, if your kid is stuck looking at a screen and you can't get them to brush their teeth, you just swap in another screen and oh, they don't know what to do. And then they brush their teeth and it uh, keeps track of what they're doing. Although when you turn it to brush your teeth, you can't see the screen. So I don't know if it actually solves the, the problem other than being a kind of overarching surveillance device. Your parents know exactly when you're brushing your teeth, which is if there's any reason to reverse engineer something, it's to be able to hide it from your parents. Now, when it comes to hacking it, what Aaron ended up doing is setting up a Wi-Fi hotspot, an access point, with a certain name and everything that this toothbrush happens to be looking for to connect to. Probably whatever the app on your phone would set up that configures and talks to it and can push firmware updates and everything else. And if you connect to that hotspot, if the toothbrush connects and you send just the right data, which Aaron figured out, you can actually load your own firmware in there. And so he created a loader, it's on his GitHub, um, and you can basically load any firmware you want. Use an ESP32 as the, the loader and push firmware in there. He even included recently his Doom image that he created, so you too, instead of brushing your teeth, can play Doom. All Aaron needs to add now is a way to spoof that you actually were brushing your teeth when in fact you were in the bathroom playing Doom, and kids across the world will rejoice. Now, the thing I like about Aaron is that his work can be replicated. He shares everything he does, and the stuff he works on is rather low cost. He does these e-ink paper type displays that you see in stores, this toothbrush that's 20 bucks, the Disney band, a lot of the things, they're very approachable. And the best way to learn reverse engineering is to do. You're gonna crap out on stuff, it's gonna freaking break, it's, you're gonna destroy it, whatever. You just need to do the things you see and not just watch stuff. You know, at the end of the day, you gotta hook the soldering iron up and blow some crap up, and that's okay. You blow up less crap as you get older. I just recently blew something up, and I've been doing it in a long damn time, so, you know, it happens to the best of us. Not that I'm the best of us, but you know what I'm saying. Now, if you haven't checked out the Richesum Wiki in a while, you really should. Barney added a ton of power metering information for Germany. So if you're in Germany, or you have a system that's similar to what they use in Germany, you'll find his write-up on the wiki uh, really impressive. It contains a lot of information if you want to learn about that system. Like and subscribe, share the channel with people that you find uh, would enjoy it, and join the Discord. We're over there, we're all chatting about reverse engineering occasionally, and if you have questions or if you just want to see what other people are talking about, kind of learn by osmosis, come hang out with us over there. I'll leave you with a quote, and I'll see you next week.